The phrase driverless cars conjures up an image of getting into a car, pushing a few buttons on the dashboard, and then sitting back and reading an electronic book on an iPad while the car automatically drives you through crowded city streets on the way to work. But vehicle automation isn't actually new. It's been happening for many years. If you go back to the middle of the 20th century, we had cruise control. Anti-lock brakes have been part of commercial cars for, for several decades. What's new is the extent to which tasks that were formerly left to the driver are becoming more automated. Today's technologies make it possible to sometimes help a, have a car apply the brakes and help prevent a car from colliding with the vehicle in front of it. There's also technologies that can help a car stay in a lane. Uh, and in the future, these technologies are going to get more and more advanced. So there's not going to be one year where we automatically transition to, quote, the driverless car, um, but it's going to be a gradual transition in terms of what's commercially available.